um, we are going to talk about Canva today. Canva is one of my favorite tools because if I need to whip up a design on the fly, I can just go into Canva, which is online, which means you don't have to download anything on your computer. It's free. Uh, I am in no way paid by Canva. <laughs> I just really <laughs> like this tool. And uh, you're able to just kind of compile images, create things like flyers, social media posts, business cards, videos, all sorts of things with Canva. I really like this tool. Um, one thing about it is that like many of these online tools, um, Canva has not only competitors like easily, but they also have premium features. So you don't necessarily need the premium features to use Canva, but you might see some things with a little crown next to it, and that means it's a paid feature. So that includes sometimes uh, you'll have options to use stock photos, and to remove the watermark um, from those stock photos, Canva might make you pay if you wanted to do that, and it gives you an option when you go to save. So um, that's a little bit about Canva. Let me go ahead and swap my screen over to that one. Okay, I think, did I do it right? Uh, it looks like it, uh, should I be seeing the Canva main page? Yes. Awesome, yes. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this is Canva's dashboard. I already have an account, so I'm, I went ahead and signed in. You're welcome to follow along if you want. If not, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> So uh, Canva is really great. It actually gives you a couple of different things, um, lets you create documents, look at different templates, that kind of thing, um, even for resumes. So it kind of make them pop out. Now, sometimes I don't always recommend that. It really kind of is circumstantial <laughs> if you're gonna use it for a resume. So just keep that in mind and try to think about the context of whatever you're designing. Uh, when you have Canva, you'll see I have previous designs uh, that I've made or worked in worked on in Canva um, right below the recommended uh, designs. But today we're just going to make a social media post and pretend like we're fabulous influencers or that we're working for a fabulous influencer who makes lots <laughs> of money and so they have hired us to make their posts and queue up their posts for a bit. So let's go ahead and we'll do a Instagram post because it's quick, it's easy, it's simple, and I really like the square. <laughs> Canva has a lot of different options. Um, one thing about Canva that I really like is that it has a lot of um, pre-made templates. Pardon me. And so as you can see, there are a lot of pre-made templates over on the left side of your page. If you're not seeing this, just expand the menu um, <laughs> and then you can go back um, by clicking on templates in the upper left hand corner. It's in that black bar. So the templates uh, submenu kind of pops out and you're able to see a lot of different things. This is what we're going to do to kind of get the feel for Canva and explore throughout Canva before we make our own original fantastic post. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these templates. I'm feeling like, oh, these spring ones are pretty funny. Um, now you can always change all of the content. So that's what we're gonna do. I think, yeah, let's probably go ahead and do the springtime sale one. So we have this, now as you can see, when I move and hover around, um, things get highlighted. So that means they're selectable features. What we're able to do with this is click on them to make them active, and then we can actually edit them. So by clicking on this, we can edit the text. You'll also see that the text is attached to this little icon up here. Now that is because those objects are grouped together. So if we wanted to ungroup them, what we could do is go up to the upper right hand uh, area of the page and you'll see the ungroup option. You can regroup them by selecting them both at the same time and hitting group. To undo whatever you just did, you can always do control Z or you can use the undo arrow, which is in the upper right or upper left hand corner um, of the page in the blue bar. 
All right, so maybe we want to change the content and how this looks. Let's go ahead and change this title. I'm thinking instead of springtime sale, we can say mm, sushi bonanza. I don't know what a sushi bonanza is, but it sounds great. I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> so here, uh, what I've done is I've highlighted my text. Um, and if I wanted to, I could change the color um, to anything really. So maybe I want a nice wasabi green. <laughs> And I can also change the font by using this white bar at the top part of the page. So we've got some pretty cool page things, fonts. I think that this is pretty edgy. I think I'm going to go with the edgy font. I'm feeling kind of <laughs> feeling kind of edgy today. So we're going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to go ahead and as you can see, I'm moving things around just by clicking and dragging. Now these purple lines that appear are guidelines and they can help us snap to and line up our stuff. So it makes it look nice and even. It's a lot less work for us instead of eyeballing everything. So we have this beautiful, calm color palette that's so relaxing. Let's change that up. Okay, we're gonna make it crazy, okay? I'm thinking we need like, you know, bright red, you know, we want like the colors of sushi. We wanna make them um, vibrant, you know? So maybe, yeah, red and yellow. Also, red is one of those colors that can make you hungry. That's why, like, so many fast food places use red is because it's associated with hunger. It's all that psychology. So, in addition, what we do is we have these little icons up here. Now, this icon, as you can see, has these three little squares in the top bar, uh, the top white bar in the upper left. What you can do to actually uh, change the color of this feature is click on it and we can actually change the colors itself. So anytime that we're working with certain graphics and it's not all of the graphics in Canva, but certain graphics in Canva actually give you the option to change the color. And that's one thing I really like about Canva that you can't really do in a lot of the competitors. So instead of this flower thing, I think I'm gonna switch it up. Let's go ahead and take a look at something else. See what we have for sushi. Maybe they'll uh, be able to change the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and I, I like this, so I'm gonna see if I can drag that over here. Oh, no, it's not letting me just straight up replace it. I thought it would, but it didn't. Yeah, no. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete that and I'm gonna bring over this lovely uh, sushi. Uh, graphic right here. Now, as you can see, I can't really change the color on this one, but that's okay. I'm really digging the color. It's got this great vibe. You've got this red in the chopsticks that kind of is echoed right over here. So I'm like graphic design. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do to go ahead um, and scale that down is grab one of these handles on the image and just drag it to make it a little smaller. Then we can line it up and we'll say that the Sushi Bonanza is a sale. So we'll just go ahead and keep that up to 50% off uh, information. Let's see about another sushi picture. Ah, yes, this one. Now this one we can change the colors with. So we might as well make it match um, whatever we have going on. With the salmon, it's kind of fading into our uh, background here. So we might want to switch that up with a different color. Now we can use custom colors for this. Just by clicking on this new color thing over in the left side of the page. And we'll go ahead and lighten that up. That looks light and still pretty appetizing, I would hope. And you can just click and drag to your heart's content to figure out what color works best for you. Now, for all of this, you know, we're pretty, we're pretty great with this information. This is going to be just fine. I might change this to be like, instead of in stores, I'm going to be like, um, uh, Wilmington, North Carolina location. Yeah, because it's a chain now. <laughs> all right. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and look at some of the photos. Now, Canva does have all these amazing elements over here. And we do have ways to kind of work with text and music and videos. Now, some of the music and videos 
are again paid options, so we're just not going to go there. But if you want to play around with it, I recommend it. It's really fun to just kind of look at and, you know, see what Canva can do. It's also the best way to really learn these tools and it helps you make projects uh, a little faster. So it's really great to learn on the fly. We're going to go ahead and go up to photos, which is just above elements. And let's go ahead and type in sushi and see what happens. All right. So here we have some lovely photos that go along with our delicious theme. I'm going to go ahead and get this sushi and sashimi combination and drag it over. Now, when I drag this over to the photo, it actually replaces the photo. So we're able to switch them up. And I'm thinking this one actually might look better down here. It kind of brings a little more balance. And so this one, I'm going to drag up to here. I'm feeling like that's pretty solid. So here's our sushi bonanza. One thing about these is I think we are able to um, add effects and we can change things. Oh, no, wait, that's a different thing than I thought it was. F filters is what I mean. So we can actually add filters to our picture if we want. I don't really like them, but that's just something to think about. You can crop pictures as well if you want to. So you can actually make this like larger so you can see the original image is a little larger. Um, and you can expand that and make this zoomed in on the photo. And then hit done in that upper bar. And you can also flip things if you want. So I'm not really going to use the flip tool, but those are options. Additionally, if you thought that these images are too bright, what you can do is adjust the transparency. And that transparency is in the upper right hand corner. Uh, it's this little checkerboard and you can use the slider to adjust how um, transparent or opaque you have it. Uh, again, I don't really want to make it so transparent. I just uh, wanted to show you this option. So we're going to go ahead and just keep it as is. Any questions so far? Nope. Good. Now is a great long. time to pause the video and catch <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is how we've remade and, uh, an existing template into our own. The templates are great for when you need to make something really fast on the fly and still have it look good without go putting a lot of thought into it. Next, uh, we're going to talk about downloading and saving. Now, you can share your designs with other people, and they can edit them just by typing in their email. Now, I do have a class version, so if you have questions about learning how to use that, just go ahead and shoot me an email. <laughs> we're not going to go in depth. We're just going to focus on the bare basics. Now, for this, we can go to uh, download, and from here, we can download and we have a bunch of different options. So we have PNG, which is recommended. You have JPEGs, which are um, very compatible and most commonly used, but you also have PDF options. There are video and uh, GIF options, but I do not recommend them uh, because they are beta-ing and I think that they might be um, end up being premium features. So that's something to keep in mind. But when you um, do click any of these options and download, it will download them to your computer so you have them on your own. All right, so let's go ahead and think about making a um, social media post for our famous influencer that we are the assistant of. Um, she's a famous model uh, in a big city and we're gonna work, we're gonna make another Instagram post for her and we're queuing up posts for her. You know, we did this huge photo shoot and took like uh, 157 photos of her because she's just gorgeous. So now it's time to make the post that she needs that will wow people over and it's going to be about ice cream. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload our own photo. I'm going to go ahead and upload an image. I think I've got one saved down here. Yep, ice cream. This image, I don't actually know this person, uh, it was taken from nappy.co, which is a uh, black owned business for stock photos uh, featuring and highlighting uh, BIPOC. So we're going to go ahead and use this photo um, for our post. Now what we can do with this photo is we can make it the full area 
or we can just kind of work with it. So let's explore our other options before we really get into working with the photo itself. But now that we have it here, we can, uh, it's saved in our little upload images uh, folder. And we're gonna go ahead and just take it out of our image now. I hit the delete key to remove it, but it's still here for us to work with. Let's go ahead and check out our backgrounds. So we have a lot of different backgrounds that are all pretty cool that Canva has for us. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything for ice cream. All right, I'm getting a lot of ice and not a lot of cream. <laughs> Let's try dessert. <laughs> okay, desert, um, close, but no cigar. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, why don't we check out, well, these clouds are pretty cool kind of summery, kind of airy, you know, we want, we like that feel, you know, we want that bright, uplifting feel of a positive social media post with our Instagram megastar. Now let's go ahead and look over some elements. Now with these elements, we actually have these things called frames, and frames are really handy because they can frame your picture. So we have all of these different frames where we can actually input any sort of photo into them. You'll see that this is kind of a default photo and we have a lot of different options. So we have this nice wispy one, which I'm feeling pretty good because I think it might go with our little clouds. Let's go ahead and click and drag that over and check it out. I'm gonna make it a little bigger and we'll make it just front and center for now. We can always change that up. All right, so now let's go ahead and go back to our uploads and we're gonna just click and drag her into our little wisp. Now, we're gonna probably need to crop it a little bit so that she fits a little better. And I realize that our wisp is really kind of long and so we're not getting her or the ice cream in it. So my bad. We'll go ahead and cancel that. Instead, we'll get rid of our wisp and check out a different frame. Let's see, something big and fun. Oh, this is quite elegant. I like this. We're gonna use that. <laughs> and then I'm just clicking and dragging the handles again to make it a little larger. I think she'll fit just fine in here. And here is our Instagram megastar. Oops. And I'm going to hit crop again to adjust where she is. And I'm kind of following the focal points, you know, so we want her interacting with the ice cream at this focal point and her earring is almost at another focal point. So I'm thinking that's really kind of good, you know, and we have her face front and center. She's got this amazing profile. So yes, she is an Instagram idol. All right, so now let's think about other things that we can add. We can go to our elements and let's go ahead and close out of frames and we'll type in ice cream and see what we get now. All right, so lots of cool ice cream. <laughs> she is eating a delicious looking sundae, so maybe we can find something similar. All right, here's something. This one we can't really change the colors with, which I was hoping we would be able to, but we can work with it. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to go ahead and I've rotated it by using this little rotate button on the bottom of the picture. And we're able to turn the picture at a whimsical angle so that it kind of, you know, is fun and pops. You know, we want this to be a fun post. We want it, you know, to speak to, you know, the, the crowd that wants to, you know, go eat ice cream. We want to appeal to ice cream lovers <laughs> in this post. It's very important. Ice cream lovers are, you know, top priority. Um, and so this one, you know, I've got an ice cream cone, I'm going to make it a little smaller and just kind of put it up here in the corner, but it's still kind of pointing at her, that point of the cone. Ooh, marketing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have our fun ice cream post and what we can do next is add some text. So this is really cool about Canvas text is that it has awesome pre-made text options. They allow us to pick all of these different things that you can use. So like, here's this awesome thank you, the sweet, I think that fits. I might just put that in for funsies. Yeah, I'm really feeling that. And 
And um, we can look at a couple of different things. So let's check out these. We're going to probably say um, it's a good day for ice cream in our post. Now we can use some of these. There's usually a lot of, yeah, this will be good. We're going to actually size this down for now. We're going to change this to, it's a good day for, and we're just going to put ice cream. And we'll just get rid of this last text. So what I'm going to do to get rid of that last text is ungroup our text boxes. And then I'm just going to select that single one. And oh, maybe I shouldn't do that just yet. I'm going to go back a couple of steps and see if I can move this over here so that it's easy for me to work with and ungroup. And that way I can regroup them. So to regroup, I'm just going to click and drag and then hit group. And that allows me to select that. And I'm not selecting any other items because I have it off to the side. But we're able to kind of move this around. As you can see, I can't really see my text. So let's go ahead and think about that transparency. All right. Now, this might be good up here. And I'm really kind of feeling that. That actually looks really great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And um, what I might do is make this uh, a little tighter. So take the it's a good day and just bring that a little closer and then uh, put those two items back together. And I'm thinking that we're going to have to do some sort of transparent thing. Now, this might not look perfect, but it's going to help us out a little bit just for visuals and just for fun. So we'll go ahead and we have all of these different shapes that we can use. And this one looks kind of fun. So I'm just going to put this up in the corner. And maybe make it not so big. Also, we want to make sure that it's not overlapping her any, if at all, just because she is our star. <laughs> so having it be close by, and that way we can work with this. And maybe I can move my suite down here and kind of give it a little more balance. Yeah, I'm thinking that's, that's pretty solid. All right. Now, this is kind of a giant pink blob. So what we can do is adjust our transparency to make it just a little lighter so that we can still see what's going on. I don't want it too much to because I think that you know might be a little too much going on and we don't want to make it too busy but I'm feeling pretty good about this so it's a good day for ice cream it's sweet <laughs> now one thing that you may encounter when you're working around with Canva is things may not be on the right layer so when we're thinking about our graphics and elements we're thinking about them in layers and stacking onto each other this text is at the front but let's say if I bring this down here, you'll see it's kind of right in front of my ice cream. So what if I wanted my ice cream right on top of this? Well, what I can do is just right click this and I can send it backwards until it's behind whatever item I want it to be behind. So that's a pretty good tip and you can actually do it for um, moving things forward, backwards, um, and just kind of playing around with the uh, frame. Your background is still gonna be your background, but there's a lot of different options that you have. And so you can kind of think about um, your elements as different layers. Again, you can go ahead and download and save that. I think our Instagram star is going to be really happy with this wonderful post that we made her that she'll give us a raise. <laughs> and uh, we can call it a day. So thank you for joining me on this introduction to Canva. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or the Digital Makerspace. Digital Makerspace is a wonderful place where we have 3D printers, VR, and other technology that is accessible to the entire UNCW community here in Randall Library right in front of TAC. 
We would love to see you. And if you have questions or want to learn about digital media, improve your digital literacy, or need help with any project, personal, professional, or academic, that maybe is editing a video, making a podcast, you can always come and reach out to us. We'd love to see you. Thank you for joining us.